Hey, this is Jim, uh, the Gold Power Ranger from Power Rangers RPM, and you're watching Wolf Thunder Ranger. What is up? It's time for a Lone Warrior on Robo Knight. So without further ado, let's get this boy started. So Robo Knight's got a weird looking talent tree. He has 26% health pool, a 36% strike damage, 44% breaker damage, and 8% defensive damage. Now, I'm talking about 8% defensive damage added to that. That's 36% defensive damage. But why is he giving himself defensive damage? I guess back in the day, character model-wise, uh, Robo Knight was a... Um, Robo Knight was a class... Um, he was a... How to put it? The man was like an interesting character. And by interesting character, I mean... The man, I guess, used to have a shield attack. Because why else would they be giving like a 10% uh, defensive boost when it makes no sense to even give him that? You get what I'm saying, guys? Wow, I like how I got Katana Triple Strike again. And I did the freaking Rapid Fury. Of course, he's got the waiting game. It's like Ninja is like a giant counter to this character. Like, it will most likely never work out in your favor. But I guess if I was trying to go for something, it would be like, I guess, a shield where it needs to be. Okay, that was a good hit. Gotcha. Let's get it. One, two. Oh, God, I do not need a shield right now. That I don't need. Ah, oh, he hit me with a little bit of strike. See, my issue here was, if I didn't get the shield, I think I would have actually won that match. By that t skin of my teeth, Robo Knight was about to win. But I'm going to put Robo Knight at a C tier because... A lot of his moves are situational. Okay, I wouldn't put him at C. I put him at a B at best. B because A, his blast riser is a breaker. And if you corner someone, they either strike it or obviously they go up in the air and you can go into Rapid Fury. So my thing is with this character is um, I put him at a B because he's not too strong. But he's not as low... He doesn't need to be so low on the tier list for that because he does do some good damage if everything goes like Robo Knight's way. So we got good see ya. All right. So if we get if we get rid of one shield, I think we're good. Or he doesn't have any shields, which is good, you know. Now I got a shield here. It's awesome. Now we just play our cards right. He tried to gold zero me. He's going to learn the hard way that you don't gold zero a Robo Knight and that's for damn sure. Smash. Robo Knight. Scoopity scoop. Obviously, Gold Zeo doesn't get any shields. So, you know, we capitalize with what we have. I'm sorry, dude. That's not going to work out. I'm not going to say Robo Knight is good against Gold Zeo. I'm just saying Gold Zeo sometimes might not get shields as like attackers since Gold Zeo is balanced, so he's not going to get as many shields. For a balanced character. Emphasis on balance. <laughs> so, you know, Robo Knight just um, having a good strike here and there. I guess if you were going to play him low warrior style, you would want to focus more on the on the primaries. Because the primaries is kind of what makes this character kind of do his thing. Like, mostly you would want to pull off his primary first off. But I think his, um, his four-cost strike doesn't do enough, like, damage it doesn't give you enough satisfaction for the amount for the the amount this move actually costs and I killed myself on that one yay uh, I could have just weighed that block out now perfect time to go into this
Ugh. I mean, I got another shield. It's weird. Block. And I got another shield. Woof. Good miss. You want to miss that kick if you really want to go into some, like, good Robo Knight tech. Oop. Breaker. Oh, that miss. This is too much. It's too much. Robo Knight can't get enough shields. But a good match nonetheless. Robo Knight did have him on the ropes. Uh, I guess if I didn't go into that maximum... Again, maximum force, I think, is a... It's a, it should have been, Maximum Force should have been a good move. A, it should do more damage. B, it should do more damage. Because, really, I think that's like the one attack that's kind of holding Robo Knight back because it's low damage. And there's plenty of forecast moves that do a lot of freaking damage. Phantom Ranger is a great example of how much damage Robo Knight's little attack there should do. The fact that Gemma has a strong damage and she's a... Um, uh, an epic, and Robo Knight can't even reach that type of level for some reason. I find that very weird. Oh god, I had that coming, honestly. Now we're gonna break her gun him. Now that's a good way to kind of like get the combo in for Maximum Strike, but I feel like Maximum Strike still deserves to be stronger for what it is you know now this obviously black dragon I didn't think black dragon was actually gonna reach believe it or not that was weird there we go that's a one and that's a two save it see his maximum force kind of does the damage here so let's get him in the corner a little bit get into this attack we're gonna put the shield back on the blasterizer if we can because that's going to be the key to Roman Knight's victory. Boom. Eat it. That's what you get for doing breakers for free. Breakers aren't free! So, Robo Knight, uh, he does get by Black Dragon. You just got to play far away so Black Dragon doesn't get you in that example. He may have had a Black Dragon shield. That shield ain't going to reach you. So, that's why Robo Knight is good in certain doses. But I still would put him at a B because he's, his maximum force does, like, crap damage. It really is, like, crappy, man. It doesn't work. It's another thing that needs to get worked on. Especially Mezogog should have a stagger back on Mesoic Flash on the second hit. Seriously, he should. But Robo Knight, in this case, is just a weird character on how he does his things. See, you get dash punched already. Get tickled your nipples. The fact that he already did that move is crazy. Nah, I get that block in. I'm already like kind of screwed here. I always wasted a block. Hit him with this. Then you can hit him with this. Good. Hit him with this. Ooh. Safe. As far as that actually worked. Oh. Wow, you went full idiot. Never expect that. Breaker. Perfect. Now we gotta wait again. Oh my god, he actually did the shield instead. That was smart. Oof, he's going to be screwed on this one. He doesn't have a shield attack. Yo, he doesn't have the shield. He doesn't have a shield. Let go, baby. Let go. Do the robot. Domo aligato, Mr. Roboto Domo. So he wasted all those things in... Weird, he didn't have a shield either. I don't, know, I don't know what to say in that match, honestly. That was an interesting Robo Knight win. Robo Knight is... He's weird. He does do some good damage. And, I mean, yes, his projectiles hit when you're close range. It always depends, though, on the situations you get yourself into. 
Rob and I just doing like those certain things. At least if Maximum Force did some more damage like Gemma, I think Robo Knight would be very freaking playable and people would play him more. But since he's not even near near Gemma status, it's like the man can't the man can't work. He can't function. And that's what we kind of try to figure out why the character can't function. Another one of those, of course. Ninja will always be annoying, but you just don't see him anymore. Oh, I blocked that. It's like you can't even fight Ninja like normally without him being stupid. Oh my god, I blocked you, dude! It It's really hard to fight Ninja, honestly. Like, it's just Katana Triple Strike. Um, the character just gets things off. It's like, you can't really do much, man. In a Robo Knight match like that, it's like, you can't even try because A, Ninja does get shields out the ass more than any other character in this game. And B, it's Robo Knight, and he's not going to be able to go full hyper you know, blaster on that character in general. Ugh. Robo Knight is just, um... He, he can be good. I mean, he is, um... He's assist heavy, too, because he definitely needs to do an assist just after some gunshots. Because you gotta keep your opponent in the air long enough to do Rapid Fury when you can. Hmm. But I would put him at a B. At least he can actually get wins, get some movement in. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Nope. I, mean, I can go for this and try. That trying don't work. Okay, now I'm going to go maximum force and for some reason got double shields. Makes no sense. But I feel like Silver Eye Slash is like the only thing that's giving him damage. And I don't like that maximum force is giving him like crap. Oop. I screwed that up so bad because he shielded. And look at those crits. Uh, Andrews crits more than Robo Knight crits. Now this says a lot about his freaking character. And that's the sad part. Because Robo Knight is an attacker. And he can't even get crits. I find that to be an issue. For a character like this, he should be critting almost half the time. Especially for the damage that Max Force actually does. And that move doesn't even crit that much. The most you'd get a crit off is probably Silver Eye Slash, but that's it. That's the only issue with Robo Knight. He just he can't move. Because he's a robot, but still. You just gotta find it. One... I mean, surprisingly, Preston doesn't have a shield. And obviously, yes, I want to capitalize on that. Because he doesn't have a shield. Now I got another shield again. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Hit him. Back it up, back it up. One, two. No shield yet. Good. First time I seen Preston without a shield. It's hilarious. Nope. Kick. No shields yet again. All right, cool. <laughs> How much time we got? All right, we got time for one more Robo Knight match. I mean, yes, Robo Knight can go ham. Robo Knight's like a Psycho Red. He's a freaking gamble. But at least with Psycho Red, you know your Mad Dash is going to hit because you have him cornered. Rapid Fury is not going to always hit, and you actually have to get the breaker off first before you can do it. But, again, the positive side of Robo Knight's uh, Lone Warrior is, yes, you can do Blast Riser in the corner. It will work. That's good. That's what we needed. Just everything else is just hmm, too all over the place here. He definitely needs assist, but as a Lone Warrior, I would put Robo Knight at a B. Because he's not that bad. And B for bad. But if you just time everything right with him, you can, you can do a lot of work. That's fine. One, 
one. And again, keep in mind, Korag's another character that gets a lot of stuff. I'm trying to avoid his shield. Actually, this is the first time he actually doesn't have a shield. What a read, though. Yeah, I gotta go into Rapid Fury on this one, because I gotta get these shots in, because he's definitely getting a shield at this point in the match. He's working on it. And for some reason... Well, I don't have a shield, because I'm an attacker. Makes sense. Ugh, of course. Like, What else was he going to do? One, two, oh. Yeah, that was going to happen. <laughs> it's Korag. He's going to have a shield. Robo Knight's not going to have a lot of work to do. And that's why you need an assist just to bait out a strike so you could do it. Anyways, guys, we're going to conclude here. Uh, Robo Knight Lone Warrior, B at best. Uh, he's really he's not that bad. It's just the combo potential he needs within himself in order to do work is pretty much all this character can do. So, peace out, guys. Be good. Stay safe. Stay tuned for more episodes. We're kind of all caught up here. Just like 11 more episodes left of each character, and then we're on to our new with the new characters and the later dates. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.